scene 1.1 take one i think that's how you do it all right cool 2023 it it's been a crazy year roll the tape What's up everybody? My name is Craig the Creative and I'm a South Florida filmmaker. I've shot a lot of sporting events this year and it's been a whirlwind of fun, uh, lots of energy, and quite frankly, the best time of my life. Learned a lot, failed a lot, succeeded a lot, and also built a lot. One of the major goals that I had for 2023 was to focus on building relationships. What I did was I stopped shooting every other style event and I only focused in on shooting sports. I'm going to walk you through a little bit of how this year went for me. So in January, I started shooting volleyball at a tournament. I had one client, shout out to Emmy Murhai. When I showed up and I started shooting for her, I opened up my bag, started assembling my camera gear, and all of the parents that sat at that that bench where I was setting up my camera gear leaned forward simultaneously, and they all said, hey, I would like to buy the same package as that one client that I was shooting for. I went instantaneously from one client to seven in literally five seconds. And so I was like, took out my phone, tried my best to get names and, and numbers of who's on the court and all this stuff. And and that was the start of me basically shooting high school club volleyball. After that tournament, I, I realized, I was like, man, I, I got to go shoot some more tournaments. I was just so excited to be around the clients, so excited to be around the sport. It was just a lot of fun. And also simultaneously to shooting volleyball in January, I actually reconnected with an old high school friend and we made a plan to basically start shooting for a Christian company, which ironically was one of our high school teachers, which actually is this hoodie that I'm wearing for his glory. It's a merch company, but it's also more than a merch company. It's actually a ministry. We we created that professional relationship with with our old high school teacher, and now we we currently work with him on his projects. In February, I started working with an NFL athlete shooting at one of the best fitness facilities down in Miami. That was basically all of my January, February. Started shooting more volleyball in February, March. Same thing, doing volleyball. It was at this point. I started to realize, man, I, I've been shooting volleyball primarily. And, you know, usually at some point a sport ends, volleyball doesn't end. And up to this point, I hadn't really known what I wanted to do full time. I, I knew that volleyball was undercovered, untapped and deserved the coverage. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to go about that yet. Previous to this, I had shot so many high school football games and so many high school basketball games, and I had opportunities to go shoot those. A lot of fun, but I realized that there was seven, eight, nine, ten guys at the baseline of a high school basketball game. There was 30, 40 media people at a football game, but you go to a volleyball tournament or a volleyball game um, or, or really any female athletic function there is not really that many people there other than the school photos. When I walked into that volleyball tournament the first time, there was a lot of courts in that room. And really, that wasn't even one of the biggest volleyball tournaments that I had seen. There was 33 courts. And on each court, there's at least 10 girls. And on each court of 10 girls, so 10 girls on one side, 10 girls on another side, there's a team of girls sitting that are resting, and then there's a team of girls refing. So there's at least four sets of girls on every court that you go to. So if there's 30 courts and 40 sets of girls, it's 40 times 30, and that was at one of the smaller tournaments. And I realized, I was like, man, that's how many girls are here this weekend and at different tournaments all over the country. Why isn't there a pro side of this sport? So I started becoming more curious and started asking questions. April was more volleyball. In May, I actually had the opportunity to go shoot the NCAA track and field quarterfinals up in Jacksonville at the University of North Florida. In May, 
obviously more volleyball. And at this point, the passion is stirring and it's growing. And then we get to June. And June is when my business changed. I shot for Zoe Fleck, which was the libero of the year, a part of the national championship team. After I flew back home, I went and shot 18 straight days of volleyball. It was, it was a lot of volleyball. I had the most fun that I've ever had shooting the sport. I was by this point insanely hooked, passionate about the sport. The next four months I would spend editing, sorting through footage and basically trying to push out all of these videos. I had sent lots of apology text messages, lots of things that I learned in that time. But, but the main thing that I learned was that I love this sport and I believe these athletes need the coverage. November and December, I ended up working with some other major clients. A few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to the Final Four and the National Championship and I got to watch Texas beat Nebraska. And it was just, it was just insane. I found the passion for something that I feel like deserved a camera on them. So. I go back to female athletics. Uh, female athletics don't usually get a ton of camera time. And, and really, this goes for all sports. And one of my main goals is I would like to provide a voice for these female athletes. I would like to provide a camera, the story, the opportunity for volleyball players and cheerleaders, gymnastics, uh, track and field athletes, um, softball, soccer, etc. All All of these female athletes, women's basketball, so that they can have their story and they can share and kind of have their cake and eat it too. I feel like when you find the thing that you're passionate about, there's not really much that could stop you from doing that thing. For me, I'm insanely passionate about being an authentic filmmaker. This insane passion is what drove me to start the brand, Every Point Matters. So I'm Craig the Creative. That is my personal brand, but the bigger brand is Every Point Matters, and that's the brand that is the sports side. So I'm going to walk you through the big picture of what I want Every Point Matters to become. In the fall of 2024, I would like to start working with D1 colleges, D2 colleges, going into their schools, capturing the stories of their athletes to give them a voice so that the publicity of the sports can start happening we can see the authenticity of these young athletes and we can benefit and be inspired together. I would love to travel from campus to campus to watch the stories of these young athletes unfold and connect those players to professional teams and have those professional teams inspire the high schoolers and the club level athletes that I shoot for, which then look up to the college players. And it's this triangle or really not a triangle, maybe an umbrella effect that the high schoolers are inspired by the college players, which are inspired by the pro players, which then turn around and pour back into the high school players. So I basically want to bridge the gap between all of these three levels and provide an outlet for all three of these levels, the high school, the college, and the professional side. You may be asking, how am I going to do that? It's a great question. In 2024 and beyond, I have a few, mm, I'll call them 
abstract goals that I have more specifics for written down. Goal number one is to take a break from short form content. So I found myself this year consuming an insane amount of short form content, TikTok, Instagram, scrolling all day long. As an authentic filmmaker and storyteller, I just want to create the things that I'm passionate about, the things that I know. I'm not really interested in flashy transitions. I'm not really interested in crazy VFX. I just enjoy putting my camera on somebody and having the story unfold in front of me. So I'm going to be taking the proactive step to spend less time on TikTok and Instagram and spend more time on YouTube, learning the craft, investing in the craft, reading more books, investing in courses of people that I'm inspired by to learn the craft of lighting and storytelling so that I can go out and create really the stories that I'm passionate about. And to replace the time of that short form content, I want to invest in a more long form content like YouTube. So one of my goals is I would like to post one YouTube video a week. The videos can be anything from vlogs, podcasts, inspirational talks, recap videos. Goal number two, like I said earlier, I closed myself off to all events, weddings, but uh, I think in 2024, I'm going to open myself back up to basically shooting any event, love shooting sports, and I'm going to continue shooting sports. I'm going to open myself up to weddings and music videos and events. Anything basically that has a story attached to it, I'd like to have the full creative storytelling liberty and watch the finished product happen. Number three, I'd like to collaborate more. So in 2024, work on more film sets. I'd like to be a PA more. I'd like to even direct more and DP more. I'd like to learn. If you're in Florida and you need a PA or you need an AC, let me know. I want to work on more film sets this year. Along with that, me and a few buddies, we have decided to basically partner our businesses in 2024 and really start working with some bigger brands down here in South Florida. If you're a company in Florida and you want some highly produced content, some long form content, some storytelling content. Reach out to us, let me know, and we would love to come produce some of that content for you. Last but not least, number four, and that is to get some bread and to get some sponsorships. I've heard it said that you'll only get the price of the people that you market to. And so if I never take my business seriously, if I've never take my marketing seriously, if I never take my equipment seriously, then I'll never reach the clientele that I need to get bread or I'll never get the sponsorships that I want. So that's another reason why I'm taking YouTube a lot more seriously. I want to open myself up. I want to share what I'm doing behind the scenes. I want to talk about some of the projects that I've worked on. And I also want to get some of those sponsorships like Sony, Sennheiser, New Balance. Hey, if y'all listening, hit your boy up. I'm ready to start working. Godox. I'm using a Godox. ML60 right now. It's kind of nice. Mud be nice. And also with that, trying to hit some financial goals this year, um, personal and business financial goals. So all that to say, I've got some exciting projects in the works, some things behind the scenes that are happening that I, I, I really get the opportunity to work on. I also believe that I have some of the best clients in the world. So I'm excited for this new year. It feels like a fresh start because it's obviously the new year, but it doesn't feel like a fresh start because volleyball literally never ends. So after this, I get done shooting this video, I'm literally going to go back to edit a client video um, from this season for volleyball. So it's just been insane. Sincerely, thank you for watching this video. You're going to follow along with the journey. You can do that by subscribing or following me on Instagram. It's at Craig period the creative. Uh, if there's anything that you want to see or you just want to support the journey, let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to book me for a high school club tournament, you can go to my website, uh, which I'll be finishing over the next few weeks, or the link will be down in the description and you can book me there. If you're a college or you're a pro athlete in Florida or anywhere else I'm willing to travel, I would love to come cover a story for you if you're interested in getting you know a mini doc uh, completed or a full doc whatever you want um, dm me on instagram i'd love to work for now that's it so really once again i appreciate you rocking with me um and let's get locked in let's go
Um, it's called Owl Raid. Um, because it's actually Power Raid, not Gate Raid, but Owl Raid. Um, this is a this is a copyrighted by Kate. That was Kate's idea, so I just want to put that out there. Just give her some give her some credit for her uh, for creation. Give her some credit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Wasted all that. Oh, Andrea, you think water 